Hey everybody, I'm back. Um, I know I haven't done a video in a while. I've just been really, really busy. You know, it's the holidays. But I do have um, this fall mini I wanted to show you guys. I finished it quite a while ago. I've just been, like I said, super hectic getting, um, you know, I did all my Christmas decoration. I'm still making presents. I did my Christmas cards really late. I had make my Christmas cards and I sent them out like two days ago. I usually send them out by the first. And um, I've also been trying to do, I'm pretty sure a lot of you too, Tim Holtz tags. So I'm just all over the place. Even work's been super crazy. But I do have this mini I want to show you. And this is just um, a fall mini that I made. The paper I got from the Target dollar spot. It's really beautiful paper. I love it. But, um, so I'm going to start with the cover. So I added the cover and I inked the edges, I think, with, um, Vintage Photo. And then this is using the Brogue dye that, um, I had gotten from the I Dream of Jeaning on, um, the, I can't even think right now. I think it's the Paper Boutique? No. I don't remember. It's been a while. I, I'm not part of that group anymore. Um, just because they started charging membership and I couldn't afford it. Um, so, yeah, but I do have um, some of the dye, so I did um, color this with the espresso, and then I used the rub and buff on the sides. I have some bling, and this is just from Michael's. This is Michael's bling that I just added, and then there's some ribbon back here, and then um, a strip of the paper. And then the fall words I cut with my Cricut. And then I just had these leaves in there from um, a Michael's garland that I took off. And then a little paper mini rose that I made. And then just some tulle right here. Okay. Then it opens up and it has a photo mat. And I just added some Prima flowers and um, some clear bling, which I inked up with alcohol inks. And I added some feathers. And this is just a little photo mat. There's also some tulle on the back. And then um, this is a clear page. Um, these clear pages I bought from the expo that I recently went to. And um, this Good Friends, it was a tag that I cut up and made smaller and used um, the Dolly Martha Stewart punch on. And it said Good Friends. And had gotten this from a uh, tag swap. And all I did was I sprayed it with Sunflower Glimmer Mist. And then I don't know if you guys can see, but there's like a glitter on the the right or in the friends and that's from the glitter pen that I had got also from the expo and I just attached the paper I rounded the edges I don't have a corner chomper I really want one now <laughs> but um, I just used my Tim Holtz scissors and on the back same thing just a photo mat and I added some flowers and this cute little fall brad and then just some bling which is coming off <laughs> Okay, and then the next page, this is using uh, a frame that was sent to me by Anne. Hi, Anne. Um, and all I did was I tore off the, the top layer of the cardboard so I can get the ridges. And then I painted that with espresso and I added rub and buff as well. And then this was also from a tag from a tag swap and I cut it out and I colored it with I think spiced marmalade and then I went over it with something else and I can't remember. I think I glimmer missed it over it too. And then I outlined it again with the pen and then I cut out these leaves with my Cricut. And then I just added some background paper that I inked and then even this and then I cut the edges so it'll curl up like that. And then um, you could slide a photo from the top so that's functional. On the next page, I made a little pocket using another one of those tags. I haven't used them yet, so it's, um, they've actually come in handy right now. And I just inked it up, and then I added the pen marking so it'll add some shimmer to it. And then um, just a little flower that I got the Expo two years ago. Um, it was like a dark green, so it went perfect. And then I just made these two tags for journaling. And this one I masked. And then the back, so same thing. So you can add photos and you can journal. And those just slide in there. And then the next page, I just added some paper. I made this one just really simple so you can add a picture. And then more of the leaves. And then these are um, floral picks from Michaels. And then that rose again. And um, I actually learned how to make 
they're not prima they're very they look like prima roses but um i learned how to make these off youtube i somebody has a a really nice video which i think i favorited so they might be under my favorites okay and then the next page i created another photo mat and then this is using um an adhesive floss that someone had given me also in a swap and then i added pearls along here which i inked up with alcohol inks and then I added um, tool on the end, so you could put a really cute picture on there. And then for the last page, just another simple photo mat. I used that um, lace punch again. I didn't hear that top down, so this moves. And then I just added some flowers and the little rose and then more feathers. So um, this was just a really simple, cute um, mini. I used um, jump rings to bind it. The original hole for the chipboard was up here in the corner, but I made my own. So, And um, I really just tried a bunch of different techniques and used different materials that I normally don't use. Like I don't normally use acrylic, but I wanted to do that. And then um, I used alcohol inks on here and rub and buff. So um, just wanted to show that to you guys. And I hope you like it. Thanks for watching. Bye.